Hello, I want to interrupt you for one minute before we get to Mac Minute. I have some special news that I want to make sure that we let everybody know. We are combining all of our YouTube channels into a single channel. And because of that, if you've been watching Mac Minute on the old, or I'm going to call it the old Mac Minute YouTube channel, the videos are going to stop showing up in about six weeks. So to keep getting Mac Minute, you need to go subscribe to the new channel. And it is very easy to remember. It is youtube.com slash techzentv, all one word. And from that channel, you can subscribe to the playlist for Mac Minute and you won't miss a single one. So when you're done watching Mac Minute, I'll remind you again before we go. But when you're done watching Mac Minute, go over to youtube.com slash techzentv and subscribe so that you keep getting Mac Minute on YouTube. Thank you. Now on to Mac Minute. Hello, welcome to another episode of Mac Minute. This week we're going to talk about setting up wireless connections on your Mac. Now depending on what kind of Mac you have, you may or may not be using a wireless connection, but just about every Mac these days comes with a wireless connection built in. That's just the way Apple wants you to do things. It makes it simple. Basically you plug it in, it finds a wireless network, you type in your password, and boom, you go on and you're on the network. So I'm plugged in, my Mac that's sitting here in front of me is plugged into the network, so I can actually show you how to go through and set up the network as well. Now the one thing that's going to be a little bit hard to see is you can't see my menu bar at the top up here because of the new gradient that's on the Mac desktops with the green screen behind it or the chroma key behind it, uh, it kind of blends through that bar and the bar kind of goes missing. So what I'm going to do is you go to the Apple menu and you go to System Preferences. And when you get in here, you want to look for the network icon that's right here and click on network. And you're going to see I have a ton of different uh, uh, ports in here. Now, the reason I have so many is I do stuff, other things that are not necessarily related uh, to just Ethernet. You see in here I have Arduinos and uh, USB modems and things like that, things that I use to, uh, for other shows. So I have a lot of connections. You probably only have one or two in here. Uh, you probably would have your hardwired Ethernet and a wireless, and you might have a Bluetooth in here as well. So I'm going to come down here, and you see right here I have Wi-Fi. You see I don't have an IP address. So first thing we're going to do is figure out why that is. So we click on Wi-Fi. I am uh, on, and I was on a network that it belongs to us. Let me see what else is in here. Let's go see. You see a bunch of these around here. Here's, um, uh, let's go to Han and see what it does. So now I'm connected to Han. So how did I get to this point is the, is the question. So first of all, uh, last week we talked about this little lock down here and you see I'm not an admin, so I can't make changes. I'm gonna click on this and I'm going to uh, unlock it so that I can make changes to it. You see there's the lock. And if I wanted to uh, add a, a, a new wireless network, what I could do is come in here and say join other network, or if it's broadcasting, which if you watch our Security 101 show, we don't recommend that you do this, you will see it here, your network. And when you connect to it for the first time, it's gonna ask you for the password. So your password is either uh, hopefully a WEP or WPA, and if it connects to your home network without uh, a password, you really need to go watch Security 101 and figure out why you, why you really put a password on it. It's very important. Not to cross promote shows here, but uh, it's a very important thing that we uh, recommend you put pa a password on it. Uh, at a minimum, WEP, but WEP's so easily broken. Uh, WPA2 is probably the best that uh, you can use. So anyways, you pick the wireless network that's here, and if you're not broadcasting, you say join other network. At this point, it's going to ask you for what network you want to join and your security. So like I said, we typically want WPA2 personal and the password. So I'm going to go ahead and see what happens if I um, rejoin this network. All right, so I disconnected. So uh, I'm going to have two Hans in my list now of networks. Uh, I do not. Good. That's good. So that's how you add your home network to your wireless. Now, if you're plugging in, there's not much you got to do to it. There's, when you plug it in to your router, you come up and you'll get an IP address uh, real easily. Now, if you are out and about and you're trying to use a public Wi-Fi, you typically don't have to put a password in. But if you do, so you go somewhere, I know some McDonald's that give you free Wi-Fi will give you the password if you buy something from them. Um, if you do, if that is how it is working, then you can um, come in and do this like I just did, 
look for the network name, they, they definitely broadcast in, in their environment so you can find them. So that's how you create a wireless network. Now, you can, again, you can't see this up here. Let me see if I can, you know, I can't cover it up either. Um, the, the icon at the top up here gives you some of the same options that we just talked about, plus the ability to turn off your Wi-Fi, join another network, you can create network, open network preferences, uh, which is where we just were, or if you can see all the currently broadcasting networks as well. So you can come in here and pick the ones that are broadcasting. So if you walk into someone like McDonald's, I don't know what their, their name is when they broadcast, but you uh, come up to here and you should see it in this list and you just pick it. So if I would go to text and TV, it's going to ask for a password. So I don't think I know what this one is for sure. I'll find out. I must have known it. All right, so now I'm connected to TechZen TV's network, and that's simply I can come in and move around just by coming up to this little bar up top here, or coming into System Preferences, just like we did before. All right, that's it for this week in Mac Minute. We'll see you next week. All right, before you go, I want to remind you, you need to go to youtube.com slash TechZenTV and subscribe so that we can see you next week on Mac Minute. It's only a few more weeks left until Mac Minute is no longer on the old channel and only on the new TechZen TV channel. And is again, youtube.com slash TechZen TV. You can go there now because we're done. We'll see you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the TechZen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the TechZen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.